Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, September 29th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. As mentioned before, I usually don't cover breaches unless there is sort of a lesson to be learned or something to be taken away from the particular breach. Now, Tyler Technologies has had a ransomware attack, and as part of this attack, apparently data was not just encrypted, but as it is typical these days, it was also exfiltrated and we have now a number of different reports that credentials that Tyler used to connect to customers networks are being used by bad guys. So Tyler Technologies is a technology provider and as such uh, they remote administer customers systems and well that's where these credentials come in play. Now Tyler itself has notified customers that credentials that Tyler typically used to connect to customers networks for remote access were used by suspicious logins. We also had a reader tell us that uh, they found a Baumgart client on a system that was managed by Tyler. Now Baumgart, now actually known as Beyond Trust, uh, they bought a Baumgart, is a pretty decent uh, legitimate tool to remote access systems. So not clear if uh, this was legitimately installed by Tyler for remote access or something an attacker did after getting a hold of credentials used by Tyler. But the takeaway here is certainly if you are a Tyler customer, you need to change any credentials that you gave to Tyler, call them up, uh, coordinate uh, with them to uh, do so. And of course, carefully monitor any systems that they had access to. And that's uh, kind of a little bit true for any uh, kind of remote access that you grant uh, to other companies. Of course, often you do grant that remote access so they can monitor the systems for you. It's a little bit of catch 22 in giving uh, them the credentials. Well, uh, you also need to make sure that uh, they are treating those credentials with the necessary care. And then we have an interesting diary by Xavier who uh, looked into a PowerShell a backdoor that's sort of launched from shell code that's actually injected into an initial PowerShell process. So not really hiding here the fact that they're using PowerShell, but more what they're going to do with PowerShell. And yeah, uh, virus total has some detection for it, but it's not really that great. It's only eight out of 59 for uh, this particular PowerShell backdoor, which of course is a pretty low detection rate for a malicious PowerShell script. So for more details on how the memory is allocated, how the code is injected, well, refer to Xavier's diary. And last week I talked about how QNAP users have found themselves getting victimized by the HLocker ransomware. HLocker is called HLocker, well, because of the encryption algorithm it's using. And it wasn't clear initially how the attackers got into uh, these QNAP disk storage devices. Well, apparently it may be a vulnerability in the photo station component and QNAP has now released an advisory essentially telling you to update your device. Now, in addition with these devices, and I've uh, mentioned this over and over, don't expose them to the internet and also uninstall any applications that you are not using currently. Always easy uh, to reinstall them in case you decide later to use that particular application again. And remember, don't just update the firmware, that's just part of it. You also have to update the applications. And again, QNAP's HLocker bulletin will walk you through a couple steps to accomplish that. 
And Trend Micro released an update to its Apex One security software. It does affect the on-premise as well as the software as a service version. This is sort of the monthly September patch uh, that uh, they came up with. It does fix a number of important uh, vulnerabilities that uh, could lead to privilege escalation or code execution. However, in order to exploit these vulnerabilities, an attacker already needs to have some access to affected systems. So nothing really that outrageous critical. Well, and the zip for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.